February 2004, Mark Zuckerberg, a Harvard sophomore, and his co-founders Dustin Moskovitz, Chris Hughes, and Educardo Severin launched the Facebook. The site grew swiftly to become one of the most influential social media firms in history. For 15 years, Facebook has bring people closer together. From a college project to the world's largest social media platform, Facebook exemplifies the modern tech company. This astronomical growth is not an accident, rather the result of an open market and strong strategic planning. In 2009, Facebook began its acquisition spree with the $47.5 million purchase of FriendFit. Then in 2012, Instagram was purchased by Facebook for $1 billion. Lastly, WhatsApp was purchased by Facebook for $19 billion in February 2014. These purchases were not done simply for fun. Facebook plans to avoid MySpace mistakes of becoming out of date to users by expanding into adjacent social media industries when sensing an opportunity. Currently, Facebook ha has its sight set on global dominance and it is moving swiftly to get it, with the main Facebook app currently has approximately 1.5 billion monthly active users and not slowing down. Next, we go to the vision and mission of Facebook. Facebook's corporate vision statement based on the company's social media survey offerings is people use Facebook to stay connected with friends and family to discover what's going on in the world and share, express what matters to them. The company also facilitates knowledge acquisition and valuable communication among individual users. Meanwhile, Facebook's corporate mission is to give people the power to build community and bring the world close together. The new corporate mission shows that company now focuses on making a social networking website an important part of community development. Improvised vision and mission statement. The application was designed based on the way people naturally interact with other people. Facebook's new corporate mission statement is to create better communication to connect the community and make them more productive. Facebook aims for the capability to facilitate communication and information sharing among the community. External key factor, economic. Facebook enables global economic activity by helping to open new opportunities through connecting people and businesses, lowering barriers to marketing and encouraging innovation. Besides, Facebook also stimulates economic activity by providing tools for marketers, a platform for app developers and demand for supply. Besides that, there are also external key factors such as culture, geographic, social, technology, environment, political, and competitive key factors that affect the Facebook. This part of the paper discusses financial analysis performed on Facebook by various methods available. Through the analysis, it will be relatively simple for reasons of spatial restrictions and ease of understandability. Recently, Facebook performs around the industry norm. Facebook is in the internet media industry and the competitors are Google, LinkedIn and Yahoo. Based on the research, Facebook's financial status is good when engaged against industrial average. Meanwhile, the liquidity ratio of Facebook is comparatively higher than any other industry. Facebook is able to raise debt from lenders much easier than any other industry. The metrics organizational structure of Facebook allows it to stay flexible and deliver global the operations in a variety of areas. However, there are several disadvantages to the metric structure. For instance, there are frequent crossovers between the departments and teams, and regional management differences might take company-wide directions difficult to manage. Here is the improvised organizational. Facebook can now efficiently organize its business portfolio. Through Strategic Business Union SBU, the units will be separated and create an additional layer of top management which can avoid the overlapping responsibilities. All of the above social media use common strategy to gain income through a source of internet advertising. The top internet advertising platform Google and Facebook have the highest fetches. The most popular social networking platform is Facebook and Google provides advertising space for web search results. One of Facebook marketing strategy is a show of full support to developers effort to build, grow and monetize their mobile and web applications. Facebook provides a set of development tools and applications programming interfaces APIs that enable 
mobile developers to easily integrate with Facebook to create mobile and web applications across platforms and devices compared to its rival. As you can see here, this is the map locating the firm's operations. Facebook worked directly with marketers through traditional advertising agencies and with an ecosystem agencies that have specialized focus on Facebook advertising. Next, value chain analysis examines Facebook business activities in order to determine which activities contribute the most to the company's overall competitive advantages. Facebook IFA matrix result shows the weighted score for this company is 2.5, which is considered average. There are certain highlighted issues should be taken care of. For example, there are several weaknesses of this company is at risk, like privacy concerns of users. These weaknesses fall on the level major weakness, which is represented by one. Facebook EFE matrix results shows that the company is going under average weighted a score 2.50 which is only 2.35. It is a low score indicates that the company is weak and could be destroyed by the competitors. Facebook can develop new plan to prevent its competitors from overpowering their weaknesses and threats as mentioned above. BCG Matrix is a planning tool that uses graphical representations to help the Facebook decide what it should keep, sell or invest more in. After find out the relative market share percentage RMSP, and market growth rate MGR as followed. Boston Consulting Group's product portfolio matrix will be plotted accordingly using bubble chart as shown in the slide. The biggest bubble belongs to internet advertisements with 37% market growth rate. Attached to the first bubble is mobile advertisements with 54% market growth rate. The third circle is games with 77% market growth rate. And the last circle on the right hand side is gifts with 20% market growth rate. Facebook IE matrix, we plot the total weighted score from the EFE matrix 2.50 on the Y axis and IFE matrix 2.35 on the X axis. This IE matrix tells us that Facebook should hold and maintain its position. The company should pursue strategies focused on increasing market penetration and product development. Next, I'm going to explain about strategic position and evaluation for known as space metrics. As we see at the table, we are able to calculate average value of two external dimensions which are financial position and competitive position and two external dimensions which are stability position and industry position. From these values, we can determine x and y axis value. So the values are 1.47 for x axis value and 2.03 for y axis value. After being plotted on a diagram, it shows that Facebook should implement an aggressive approach based on the space metrics. Facebook has a strong competitive position in the market and is rapidly expanding. Based on the grand strategy metrics of Facebook, the result shows that it is located in quadrant 1. Thus, the best strategies would be market development, market penetration, product development, forward integration, backward integration, horizontal integration, and related diversification. In the quantitative strategic planning metrics QSPM above, there are two alternative strategies which are market penetration and market development are being analyzed by Facebook. The market penetration has some total attractive score of 5.20 which is the highest score of alternative strategies whereas the market development strategy has some total attractive score of 5.15. Market development strategy and market penetration are become two of the most suitable alternative strategy is expected to be able to cope with the symptoms that impact on decrease of company sale.
Number one is the acquisition. Facebook has made many acquisitions, for example, WhatsApp in 2014. Number two is the product development. Facebook produced a metaverse that is seen as the next evolution of the internet world to replace the use of mobile phones. Number three is the diversification. Facebook introduced Shop, a digital storefront feature that represents Facebook's first real push into e-commerce. Number four, geographic expansion. Facebook has been a leading social network in 154 out of 167 countries in the world. And number five, market penetration. Facebook has penetrated in all seven continents of the world. Number one, acquisitions. Facebook could make an acquisitions with TikTok or Merger to widen its market to attract more youngsters. Number two, develop into all-in-one application. Facebook could make all-in-one application by combining micro-messaging, video or photo sharing, payment options, payment tracking, or more. Number three, the diversification. Facebook could diversify its business by spreading into other online media markets such as focused video sharing, payment system, and online shopping tracking linked with other applications such as Lazada and Shopee. The estimation of EPS and EBIT value were created based by Facebook Annual Report and Facebook Financial Report to create a projected financial plan to finance the company. To determine whether stock debt of a combination is best to finance the recommendation, an analysis was made with assumption based on financial plan. The result shows that it is better for financial plan to use stock in poor economy while it is recommended to use debt in financial plan for boom economy. However, combination of both debt and stock is not recommended in any financial situation. The projected income statement and balance sheet will follow Facebook current financial statement format to keep up with the developing changes and relating it with the financial plans. However, all financial reports states that Facebook has never declared or paid out a cash dividend on its ordinary or preferred stock. Facebook intends to keep any future earnings to support the operation and development of their business as well as their share repurchase program and they do not intend to issue cash dividends in their near future. Therefore, their financial report of any year does not provide the amount of common and preferred stock of their account Account, the projected financial statements shown the results of our previous calculation shows a higher EPS which indicates greater value because investors will pay more for a company's shares if they think the company has higher profits relative to its share price. When it comes to financial ratio, it is an important calculation for company to create better financial decision. The analysis relies on the data extracted from the previous projected financial statement. Then the result will be compared to the current industry standard to determine if the company will be doing great or not. Each of the results shown that each ratio presented a healthy projected financial plan for future investors. Using this projected Facebook's balance scorecard will help define how their financial and non-financial objectives are going to be tracked and if the target can be reached over the next years. These measures could also be used for auditing Facebook and can be used as a balance scorecard for monthly monitoring and evaluation of the performance of Facebook. Number one, Facebook is a popular target for cyber criminals. Therefore, Facebook should necessitate strategic management measures in order to keep the company's reputation as an appealing place for online communication and information distribution. Number two, Facebook should not depend fully on advertising to generate its income. In order to minimize cancellation from advertisers, it is proper to pay close attention to the products that have the most advertising channels which may compete for Facebook's clients.